So the night of the Georgia games, me and Brent have a text chain. It's things that we want to see here in film don't lie. Just early prep on it. It's real-time reactions. Then we go back and watch the games and see if we still think those same things. And Brent texted me after Georgia's throttling of Kentucky and said, we got to show this, this play to Bowers. This is the third and short, and I gotta, I, we got to look at what happens here. So Brent, Breda Pest Management and ASW Distillery is making it possible we get to talk about this play. Let it ride, my friend. So the game of football for me, just what I love about the game of football as much as anything is the mental aspect of the game and the sort of chess match of offense and defensive coordinator back and forth, things like that. And then when you really get into the sort of chess match of I'm building to something over a period of weeks that I'm then going to sort of pull out as my trump card when I want to. And that's what happened on this play to Bowers. This play was the exact same formation and call, almost ex- almost the exact same formation, as Dejan Edwards' touchdown against Auburn on the goal line. So short yarded situation, pistol formation, Bowers coming motion. The only difference against Auburn was that Rosemary Jack Saint was on the top, was on the, the right side. Here he's on the left because you want to create more space. But the the beauty absolute and then by the way it's only seven nothing now it's not like you're up 34 to seven and you can just you know kind of chuck it downfield and feel good about it this to me was the ultimate play of we are a passing football team our quarterback and 19 and our receivers are the best players on the team and this is how we're going to exist. Like, I, I know you, it's hard to sort of make those declarations from one play, especially a short yards play here. But they, if they cover this and you don't get it, like, okay, maybe you're going for it. But just to make that call at this moment in time from something that you set up exactly from a formational standpoint and action standpoint yesterday, and then for your quarterback to feel the pressure, slide a little bit and go execute it. And, yes, if he – sets his feet up just a hair earlier and makes an in rhythm throw and puts it out in front of Bowers, this Bowers score, one million thousand percent. I don't care. This is a third and one. He's open. Go throw the completion and just see what happens after that. Just beautiful stuff. Beyond beautiful call. It cannot be understated how good Bobo's been uh, even re- as the season's progressing and especially in this game. Like he had an answer for everything that Kentucky thought it was going to do. But – Look at just and you know me and play action like oh this is just this is beautiful football. I mean, I, I'm slowing this down so the footwork because I think all the fake gear from Beck is perfect because look at the flow that you talk about here like this they bite and they bite with 19 coming the other way, which which tells you how good of a fake this is. Mm-hmm. And, and and the tendency like hey look short yarders they get in the pistol they're they're just going to hand it downhill and go get the yard you know we just saw this last week. I, that stuff, and then whoop, pull the string, and, check and you the got eyes. 19. Check the eyes right there. He's like, yep, I know. I know what's happening here. And that's good that he's on the play side. And the subtle little – like he, he feels the pressure, like Delp's coming across and going to get hit. And because he's going to get hit, he kind of gets jarred back. And Beck does a phenomenal job of, of just sort of adjusting. And if 31 doesn't make that tackle, it like it's – and by the way, rare. You think just – get him from behind, get his legs that that one guy brings Bowers down. But just this, the biggest picture point of this play to me is just how this is a throwing football team and you have to be ready for anything and everything on any down. And in any situation, we can hurt you through the air. That is a, just as an offensive coordinator, as a team, that's a great feeling because if you like, Hey, because I even see it so many other games, and even college, NFL, all of it, where everybody is in tight, and it's just you know even the the pushing and the sneaking, teams don't get it now. Like the Eagles, are the only one that consistently get it all the time. It's because guess what? Everybody and their brother knows where the ball is going. When you add the element of the ball can be thrown on you at any time, it creates chaos for defenses. It's faith in the quarterback. I, I do want to give a praise here because we've been somewhat critical in this channel mm-hmm. of Oscar Delp. And this is not perfect. You would like a, a more consistent block, maybe one that, that he's the aggressor. 
but man, he hangs tough in here and just mm-hmm. buys time. Yep. And so he, I think he does a great job. Like this play doesn't happen without him. And yep. Like you go to the ground, fine. I know that as a blocker, you never want to end up on the ground. But in this case, just bite your ass off in there, and he does. And what maybe happens sixty percent of the time on something like this is they grab the defender's jersey and pull him with them, and you get, now you got a holding call. Now you're third and eleven. Like he just boom took it there, did his best, held his ground as best he could, balls out. You know, Bowers is like, man, I should have broken the tackle. <laughs> Maybe we just expect that for him at all times at this point. And if you're thinking the raw, raw catch was the play of the game, then that's on another video. It is. Okay. It was the catch of the game. Yes. It was the highlight of the game, but from. This was Nerdy Brent's play of the game. <laughs> you just may have come up with a new title for us. <laughs> I'm not changing it there, but I may just uh, colloquially call it that, and I That's struggle fine. to get that word out of my mouth. Well, when it's um, not defined, I'm going to go. We're going to nerd out. Uh, what the I don't previous weeks has kind of been defined. What I don't struggle with is the good folks over at ASW Distillery to have the hunker of vodka, which, if you buy this, it supports Classic City Collective, which is George's NIL arm. Uh, so, if you want to have a vodka at your tailgate that you know is benefiting George's NIL efforts through Classic City Collective, go get your Hunker Vodka wherever you get your spirits. It needs to replace whatever vodka you have there because I'll go ahead and tell you, Tito's, the the one that everyone drinks, that's Texas, folks. Google it. I'm not lying about this. We're talking like $20 million that's coming from that direction. I'm just saying. Future competitor. Also, you need to go to BredaPest.com because Breda Pest Management is the official pest control company of the Georgia Bulldogs. They protect Sanford Stadium. They can protect your home, and you need to let them do that because right now there's all these critters as things are getting a little bit colder out here, and they're trying to warm up. So they're going into all your little nooks and crannies in your home and trying to invade your space. Can't let that happen this time of year. Breda Pest can make sure that it doesn't happen. Get them at your home, BredaPest.com. This has been our play of the day from Georgia's blowout win over Kentucky. We'll be back next week as we review Georgia versus Vanderbilt. We'll see you next time here.